Hi guys, Joe's on Reactions, and this video I'm going to react to episode 15 of season 3 of Once Upon a Time. Let's get into it. When we went back to the Enchanted Forest, Neil was talking about the possibility of getting his father back. What? How? He didn't know how, he just... He missed his family. He was desperate to find a way to return to this world. He believed that bringing his father back was the key. Well, if that was his plan, then obviously something went wrong. Rumpelstiltskin! It's not working. The Dark One has broken free and he knows far too much. Find him, beautiful one. Beautiful Find him one. now. You will stay with me. He'll protect you if the witch comes. You do know he tried to kill me. No, there were extenuating circumstances. Twice. Sorry? That's you're your sorry? Girl, That's you? your... This will be my way of making it up to you. Fine. I love him, all of him, even, even the parts that belong to the darkness. Yeah, it took me a while to see past all that, the good man trying to get out. He did get out. Yeah, he did. The irony is now I need the dark part in order to get to the ones I care about. Where do we start? One shelf at a time. <laughs> Hello there. Is the talking candle? Is that why we saw the candle in the title card? Oh my god! No need to be frightened. I am but a humble servant of this castle. Neil? Neil! Neil! Where are you all this time? If you can't tell me the truth, then I want to go home, back to New York. But if she tells the truth, you're going to think she's like, woo. Neil, we think your dad's back. Back? I just watched him die. What do you mean he's back? Take it easy. What the hell is that? Either, either he's being used as bait, either maybe he's like sharing a body with his father. Does it make any sense? You know, I want to get his memory. Do you want to continue to... Maybe that's for the best. Have this fake life with him? But I'm his father. I want him to know who I am. He sh I don't... He sh no. I don't understand. No. He should not permanently have this fake every nook and cranny in this place. Hmm. If you help us, I know he would restore you to your human form. Please. The bookcase behind you. What is this? It's a key to the vault of the Dark One. And you need to branch yourself with it to access Where the it? the first dark one was made, born out of the, well, darkness. If you wish to bring back Rumpelstiltskin to life, it is where you must go. Uh-oh. Nicely done. I don't think they suspected you for an instant. Which says more about them than it does about you. Now drink up. Oh, wow. I don't like this. She wants to use. She's like, oh, another product of true love. I can, I can use. Robin of Loxley, at your service. A thief. Well, as we're tossing labels around, aren't you technically known as the evil? Here we queen? go again. I prefer Regina. You think you can bring down the wicked witch with sticks? When is she going to see the freaking well, tattoo? Going to try. Have. Have we met before? I doubt I'd ever forget meeting you. Unless, of course, it was during that pesky year no one can recall. All the more reason to find this witch. Perhaps she can offer some insight into our lost memories. What the hell are you doing? This is long overdue. I forget then. Beneath it all, you're still that boy. Oh. The one I looked after all those years ago. No, I haven't forgotten. I need to do this, Killian. You know that, right? You've ten minutes. When I let the others, you've gone, thank you. There's no room! No room! There's too many voices! Too many voices! You gotta get him out of here. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Ooh! The name served me well. Fear is quite an effective tool. 
Whoa. 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 What about this? <laughs> you really have to play Is like that? <gasps> you need oh here. my god. Find Did not expect it now. The guy with the lion tattoo. It wasn't necessary anymore. Oh god. Oh no, now she's going to be scared of. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I regret wanting her to see the tattoo. Damn it. No, no. You sure about this? I spent 200 years in Rumpelstiltskin's library witnessing more dark magic and sorcery than any living creature has ever seen. He's lying. Rumpel built that library for me, not long before the curse. It's been there barely 30 years. She wants you to bring back the Dark One so she can control him with his dagger. We need to leave this place. Oh, wait. It means we can bring him back. Does it matter who got us here? Hello, haven't Rumble you heard about the part about controlling him with the dagger? So he could return to be a slave to evil. My father is the king of loopholes. I'm Don't make the same mistake he made. The writers are obsessed with parallels. For fuck's sake, mate. Neil, wait! Nope, delayed. You're responsible for this mess! Ah! That is the least you deserve. It's from New York, huh? That was totally not like terrifying. If Neil used that key, he should be dead right now. <gasps> Neil! Neil! Jesus, oh. fuck! <sighs> What the hell? You wanted so badly to get back to the sun. Didn't see the forest for the trees. You did this. You tricked him. All I did was pass on some vital information. With the help of a friend. And then your son did the rest. You didn't tell him the price. Oops. You can't hang on to both of them. Wow. I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> you've got your son, but you've lost yourself. I can't keep her for long! Go, hurry! Don't make me regret this flash of conscience! Get out of here! Use your magic. Separate me and my father. But then you think you'll die. I know. But you need my dad more than me to figure out who the witch is. To say the tower. You need to do this. I know, Daddy, but that before not that big. Do it. To save you and Henry. Do it. But then you'll die and, and Please. <laughs> What? Oh no. Rupert will never help if his son Daddy, dies. What have you done? It's okay. Papa, I told her to. But why? So you can tell her who the witch is. So you can defeat her. Zelina. What? Take it. Go find your legs. Can't do this without me. Neil. Hey. I'll be watching over you guys from somewhere. Promise me, just pro promise me you'll both be happy. They may know who I am now, but it no longer matters. Not when I have you, Grumpel Stiltskin. Not when I have your beautiful brain. So be a good little dark one. And get back in your cage. He's gone, Henry. He's a good man. And he would have been a great father. There's one thing I need you to know about him. 
idea what was a hero. I wish I would have known. <laughs> Still a little bit uh, shocked with what just happened, to say the least. Um, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe that I one of my random theories, you know, was actually why, but at the same time, I didn't foresee that something horrible happened to Neil. Now that I think about it, there were definitely some big signs in the episode itself, some big hints that this would end up being his last episode. And I should definitely have known with the unexpected scene between Hook and Neil. I was like, wow, okay, this is a heartwarming scene between them. And they actually, you know, they actually felt a little bit like closure. But no alarms were rang, nothing. And then also his conversation with Emma also felt a little bit too... I don't know. There was now that now that I think back of it, there are like different moments in the episode where I feel like I should have be warned or feel like you know I feel like something horrible is gonna happen or maybe they're not gonna try to you know to kill off Neil, right? I can't. It took me till the very end, and still I was like, nah, you know they're gonna find a solution. Maybe they'll have some magical tear follow him, and then whoops, she's going to be. Revived. Maybe even a zombie Neil, I don't know. I just can't believe it. I can't believe like My God The things that he went through, I've said it multiple times, like is the the amount of strategy he had in his life and you really telling me he doesn't even have a happy ending? Are you for real? And the fact that he died because he made the same mistakes his dad made. Oh my god. Like The writers are so mean. I said, you know, I said like, my god, they do love their, their parallels. But this. The fact that Neil, you know, all this time Neil was always against, you know, using magic. Especially dark magic. Because magic in general always talking about the price it has. The price it has. And it's how he's not willing to pay that price. And then at the end of the day. He makes that decision. He makes that decision even though he knew. That it probably. You know. That it wouldn't be good. He knew that if he would do that. I mean he didn't know he would. He would die. But he did know about, you know, if if he would bring his father back, that the wicked witch of the of the West would be able to control him. And he, you know, he didn't care about the consequences. He wanted to bring him back so he could get to his son. So he could get to Henry. So he could get to Emma. He wanted it all. He wanted his whole family. He wanted his father. He wanted his son. He wanted Emma. <sighs> Like, I was mad when he made that decision. And I was wondering, like, okay, what exactly is the prize? And, of course, it had to be a huge prize. And I was like, you know, maybe the prize is that he had to share his body with his dad for God knows how long. But I assumed at some point that would be... He would have taken care of that. But instead, no. No, the deal is that you die. And Rumpel did his best. This method of, like, Lily, his son was Lily up in, in inside of him. And that that's what d drove him crazy. But I, I understand that he asked Emma to separate it, but still. Uh, I really wish there was another way. Or they could have looked for another way, but, yeah. Couldn't even, could even like point out how powerful Emma uh, her magic is, and that even though she didn't have that much training, she can do stuff like that. But man, I was scared that Wumper would like totally freak out on Emma, but he, he, 
accepted, you know, base sacrifice. Oh my god. I don't know, it's so horrible. <laughs> I don't want to be like a downer or something, but I'm just not sure. I'm just... I don't know, so horrible. Like I don't, I don't have the, I don't have the feeling that he's a fan favorite or anything, but I did, I did care about him, you know. I, I always said I didn't ship him romantically with Emma, but that, that, that's just a small like. It was a small part anyway. I still cared about him. Both in the past and and the present. Yeah, he he didn't deserve this. But yeah, yeah. But Rumpel, I was very convinced that we would see him again. But with Neil, I don't, I don't think they're gonna bring another character back, you know, from the dead. I, I think this is it. You know, like I said, I don't think that Neil, that Neil or Belfire is a fan favorite, or at least I don't get that feeling from reading the comments. So I don't think that they, you know, from from Rumpel, it's clear he's like a big favorite. So, removing from the from the show would be maybe too seen as too risky for the network creators, whatever. But for Neil, yeah, I think this is definite. Like I have to say, I really hate that. I like don't get me wrong, I love watching once for the time, but I can't I can't lie and say that I'm like really excited for watching the next episode right now because I was planning on recording the other episode right after this one, but now I'm a little bit like shit. Because I, I kind of want to process it, what happened with Neil, but at the same time, I want to know what happens. I want to see if we can deal with Selena. But yeah, let's, let's, let's try to discuss a little bit other elements of this episode. But yeah, um, Selena, again, you know, we, we, I want to, she wants to get close to Snow White's baby. I'm still not sure why. I believe Rumpel said something about it, but she's... It, when Emma asked what she wanted, I'm not sure if he either said what she always wanted or what she never had. But I think it was what she always wanted. And with that, I'm still confused. Does he mean family? She, because, you know, she was given up by Cora. She... She didn't have a family, so... But if she would want that, why would she need Snow White's baby, per se? I don't get it. Why her baby? And then the other angle is, you know, I thought maybe because... It's a, the baby is going to be a product of true love. But Emma is also a product of true love. Why is she not enough? Or does it only work? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, also, we had Robin Hood and Regina. Well, together, I enjoyed their interactions. And I love that they, you know, we saw again their the first time they really, you know, meet each other. But we already had their first meeting in the in the f f uh, past scenes and I enjoyed that it it was very similar and also Regina was like have we met before does she she even though that they lost their memories there's still I guess it's just something you know so strong between them that she can still feel like you know I feel like I've I, I've, I've met you before I thought this seems a very I don't know, I thought they were, I do think they have some good chemistry in my opinion, definitely. Um, you know, at first, at first when we found out that Robin Hood was Regina's true love, I was a little bit like, uh, okay, like, not sure how I, if I can imagine them together or anything, but these scenes and also the, the last time we saw the first, uh, the first time they met each other, definitely won me over, but kind of sucked that I had to you know, had to kind of beg them like, "Hey, let let I want us I want Regina to see his tattoo." Now I really regret that because she's definitely you know she they were having some you know flirty times, but then as soon as she saw the tattoo, she she was scared off. She pulled away. So I'm not sure. I've I don't think I I feel like she's going to be more closed off towards him. She's not ready. I think she's going to be scared. So she's just I don't know. I'm wondering when he's going to find out about it, you know, that she is his true love. Really wondering about that. Um, yeah. 
them but I want to focus on other stuff than you know I don't know, Lumiere, Lumiere, Lumiere. Um, it's been ages since I watched Beauty and the Beast, the uh, movie of this. You know, not the live action one, but, you know, the original one, I guess. Um, like, a part of me wanted it to be, like, this animated candle, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't want that, and it would be terrifying. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to try that at first, but then when they saw the concept art, they were like, no, this is going to terrify everyone. I just, like, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how it, how it looks in the live action movie. Maybe it's not terrifying, but I don't know. Something about this a candle with the face and seeing it in CGI or stuff. I don't know. It sounds eerie to me. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. So, uh, I find it, I do think it's a, it worked out as this twist that instead of being the candle, it's like in the flames of the candle. And I'm hoping that he was able at some point to be back human. Or maybe we'll, we'll see him again. And we will see how he gets turned into a human. Um, because I definitely don't wish this fate upon him. And I'm happy that he was brave and actually helped out Belle. Otherwise she would have been killed. Mm. Yeah, I don't Maybe I should just stop. <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't know. Let's, let's just move on. So... Sorry for my little bit like oof, review, kind of have to process it a little bit, um, but I'm sure that for next episode I'll be back like, hey, you know, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, bye.